Hey everyone, let's do something a little different today. Your fire stick already knows how to behave, but what if you taught it how to misbehave just a little? There's a set of apps hiding in plain sight that completely changes how you stream. More auctions, more variety, and definitely more excitement. Most people never find them, not because they're hard, but because no one shows you where to look. In this video, I'll take you by the hand and walk you through it nice and easy, step by step. No confusing menus, no tech headaches, just a smooth setup that opens the door to a much more interesting streaming experience. If your watch time has been feeling a little too predictable lately, consider this your sign to spice things up. Stick around, follow along, and let me show you how to unlock a side of your Fire Stick that's way more fun than you ever expected, starting now. And hey, if you're watching this, but you don't own a streaming device yet, or you're still using a slow or outdated device, check the links in the description. I've listed the best streaming device deals I recommend, and honestly, even better than a Fire Stick. To get started, go to your home screen and look for the magnifying glass icon. Press down and click the center button on your remote. When the keyboard pops up, type in Downloader. You'll see it appear in the suggestions. Scroll down, highlight it, and press the center button again. This will bring up the bright orange app we need. Select it to open the app page, then press the center button one more time to start the download. It may take a moment or two, so just be patient. It'll be ready before you know it. As soon as you see Launch Now, go ahead and press the Home button on your remote. Now we need to jump into your Fire Stick settings to change one important option. The easiest way to get there is by scrolling all the way to the right on your home screen. You'll see a menu appear at the bottom. Scroll down until you find My Fire TV. Sometimes it's called My Device, depending on your model. Either way, that's the one you want to select. After you click, my screen might look a little different because I already have developer options turned on. If you don't see it on your screen, don't worry at all. Just scroll up and select About. With your Fire Stick or Fire TV highlighted, press the center button nine times. You'll see a message pop up that says, Congratulations, you are now a developer. Once you see that, press the back button, and just like that, developer options will appear right in the menu. Okay, let's hit into developer options together. The very first thing you'll see is ADB debugging. Hit the center button once to turn it on. A small box might pop up, just slide down and hit allow. Next, hit install unknown apps. You might see some apps here. Slide to downloader, then hit the center button once to turn it on. If you have an older Fire Stick, it might say apps from unknown sources, and you can only turn it on or off. If you see that, just turn it on. Now that we're all set, hit the home button on your remote. Time to locate that newly installed downloader app. The best way to view all your apps is to scroll almost to the very end and click the icon with three squares and a plus sign. This shows every app you have. The newest ones always appear at the very bottom. All right. Let's open Downloader together. If a small box pops up, just press the center button to close it. Nothing scary, I promise. This app is powerful. It lets you access almost any website you want. To get there, press the center button twice and the keyboard will pop up so you can enter a web address. Now, I'm about to take you somewhere special. This is a private app store and yes, it's just for my viewers and subscribers. I've spent a lot of time finding the best newest apps and keeping everything updated for you so you don't have to stress or search around. And honestly, the only thing I ask in return for the work, the updates, and answering all your questions is for you to hit that subscribe button. That's your little way of saying thank you. And trust me, I really appreciate it. And to everyone who's already subscribed, you're amazing. Now that you're part of the community, go ahead and enter this code. And if I'm going a little too fast, no worries. Pause the video, take your time, and do it at your own pace. Once you've entered the code correctly, highlight Go and press the center button. If you see a connection error or a message that says check link, don't panic. That just means your connection is being blocked. Simply turn on your VPN or switch to a different location and that will usually fix it right away. You'll notice a small red circle on my screen. You might also see a box pop up. If that happens, just move the red circle over to the box and press the center button. If no box appears, that's totally fine. The platform will load on its own. Just give it a moment. And there we go. The web page is loaded. The very first thing you'll want to do now is press the menu button on your remote, the one with the three horizontal lines. A menu will appear. 
Scroll down to full screen mode, click to confirm. Now you have a user-friendly interface. This platform is incredible. You gain access to over 250 exclusive apps. My top apps are always tagged with a top apps badge. It highlights the absolute best apps I recommend. And honestly, if you only install these, you won't need anything else. Now it's truly, truly essential to have a VPN. If you don't, your IP address will be visible right here. If you scroll further, you'll find search and filters. Here, you can select any category and only apps from that category will show up. This makes finding apps a breeze. Each app also has its own description. I'll show you how to install my top recommended apps. For this demonstration, go ahead and select the category named Spicy Examples under Search and Filter. All right, now scroll down with me for a second. The very first app I want you to install is IP Vanish. You'll see it right at the top with the top app badge. This one is non-negotiable. It's my number one recommendation for keeping your connection private, secure, and running smoothly while using these apps. Honestly, most people who run into download errors or apps not loading properly, that's because their connection is being blocked. WeVanish takes care of that for you, quietly, automatically, and without any hassle. To install it, just highlight IP Vanish and press the center button. You'll land on the apps page. Scroll all the way down and click download. Let it finish downloading. This can take a moment depending on your internet speed. Once it's done, you'll see the install screen. Slide over to install and press the center button. Give it a second, call, and when it's finished, slide over again and click open. Now pause right here. This part is important, guys. Before we continue, you must turn the VPN on. This step really matters. Once the VPN app is open, you can log in. Don't have an account yet? No worries, I'll make this super easy for you. Grab your phone or your computer and open your browser. Go to the website you see on the screen right now, or if you want the fastest option, just scan the QR code in the corner. I've also put the link in the description and pinned it in the comments so you can't miss it. Pick a plan that works for you. You can even start with just one month to try it out and see the difference for yourself. After that, they'll send you an email with your username and password and you're good to go. Simple, secure, and now everything just works. Now log into the IP Vanish app and hit connect. I also want to show you a couple of important settings. Go ahead and select the gear icon inside the IP Vanish app. A menu will pop up. You'll see connect on Android startup and auto connect on IP Vanish launch. Turn both of these on by pressing the center button. Once these are enabled, you don't have to think about your VPN anymore. Every time you power on your device, the VPN connects automatically, so you won't ever have to pause your movie to check if it's on. It just works for you. All right, now that we're secure, let's grab some more spicy apps. Press the home button and return to your app list. Click the icon with the three boxes and the plus sign, then open the downloader app again. If you see the old download file appear first, scroll over, click delete, and then scroll over again to confirm delete. Now switch back to full screen mode by pressing the menu button and selecting full screen. If you're still on the VPN page, just press the return button once until you're back at the full app list. Now scroll to the category section and select spicy examples again. Here, I'll show you the next essential apps for spicy movies, TV shows, and spicy live TV. You'll see three more apps in the spicy examples category. Here's the first one, the app with the top app badge at number two. This one gives you live TV, pay-per-view, and all the adult content there is, and it is by far my favorite, my most recommended app. There is nothing better than this. Move your cursor to it and press the center button. You'll be taken to a page with the app description. Scroll down and click download. The download will begin and we'll wait for it to finish. It may take a moment. Once it's complete, you'll see the installation screen. Scroll over and click Install. Give it a moment to finish. Just wait patiently. And when it's done, scroll over to Done and click Done. Clicking Done brings us back to this screen. Scroll over, click Delete. Next, re-enter full screen mode by pressing the menu button and selecting full screen mode. Then press the return button once and you'll be back on the download page. And again, scroll to the category section and select spicy examples again. Let's keep going. Here's the next app. This one also includes some spicy content. Move your cursor over to it and press the center button. You'll land on the app's info page. Scroll down and select download. 
The download will begin and just like before, give it a moment or two, depending on your internet speed. When it's done, you'll be taken to the installation screen. Scroll over and click install. Give it a moment to complete. Once it finishes, scroll over and click done. Next, scroll over, click delete, and then scroll over again and click delete to confirm. This takes us back to the store. Once more, switch back into full screen mode and then press the return button once or twice. Last time, scroll to the category section and select spicy examples again, and we're back. Now check this out. Here's another app for spicy content. Move your cursor to it and press the center button. You'll arrive on its details page. Scroll down and click download. Once it's finished, you'll be taken straight to the install screen. From there, scroll over and select install and give it a second to do its thing. When it's complete, scroll over and click done. Next, scroll over and click delete and then scroll again and click delete to confirm. And just like that, we're back in the store. Hey guys, that's really all there is to it. We've just installed four awesome apps, but don't stop there. This platform has over 250 apps available. These are just a few examples to get you started. You'll notice my personal favorites are clearly marked with the top apps badge, so keep an eye out for those. And one last thing, always, always make sure your VPN is turned on. Some apps can be blocked without it, and this keeps everything running smoothly. Now that everything is downloaded, Go ahead and press the home button. I, I want to show you where all the apps we just installed are hiding. Just like earlier, click the icon with the three squares and the plus sign. That opens your full apps list and you'll find the newest apps all the way at the bottom. Highlight one of those new apps, then press the three line button on your remote. A menu will pop up. Select move to front. You'll see the app jump from the bottom straight to the top. Now press the home button again. From now on, when you land on your home screen, those apps are right there. No searching, no scrolling. How convenient is that? Now guys, we've successfully downloaded some truly amazing apps for free movies, TV shows, sports, live TV, and pay-per-view. Guys, I just wanna say a huge thank you to every single one of you. Your support truly means everything to me and helps more than you know. I'm incredibly grateful that you take the time to support what I do. I can't wait to read your comments and I'll see you very soon in the next video.